Hello dear students, this is Rebecca Adil from Aryan Knowledge Pod. Dear students, how are you all? Hope so, you're doing good. And uh, today we have to start uh, question number 456 of exercise number 1.2. As we are doing this exercise already, and uh, we have done before the question number 1, 2, 3. And now the three next portion, next part, towards the question. This is number 4 part, and we have to solve the following quadratic equation using quadratic formula. And the question is, 4x square minus 14 is equal to 3x. Now, we are going to arrange the equations. That is, 4x square minus 3x minus 14 is equal to 0. We are going to move towards this, uh, This you can say the third term or you can see 3x. Uh, this should be the second term of the quadratic equation. It should be here in the second in the second term actually. As you know that the, the uh, standard form of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Then of course this is the first term, this is the second term, that's why we are going to write it here in the second place and this is the last term or the c. Now we have to compare this equation with this standard form and after comparing you will get a is equal to 4 because the number that is written with x square is 4 then your b is minus 3 then your c is minus 14 after that we are going to apply the formula that is x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac to a now while putting the value be careful there are two minus one is the minus that is with your b uh, that is of formula minus and there is another value of b that is minus 3 the two minus are here plus minus b square that is minus 3 square minus 4 a and c divided by 2 a and what is the value of a that is 4 now moving towards next this is minus minus plus 3 plus minus minus as it is minus 3 square this is 9 3 3 is a square students not 3 2 is a 6 but 3 3 is a 9 and uh, there is an even power that's why this minus will be vanishes now minus minus plus 4 4 is a 16 and 16 14 is a 2 2 4 and 2 4 is a 8 now okay after adding you will get 2 double 3 Students, as we know that 2 double 3 is not, uh, this is not actually a perfect square of any number. This implies you can't solve this number or you can say this is a prime number. So, we can't solve this number. So, this will be as it is and this is finally your solution set. Moving towards the next part. This is the fifth part that is 6x square minus 3 minus 7x is equal to 0. And this is once again, do you tell me is this is the... Uh, arranged form just think about it no this is not the arranged form because in a very first power or the very first power is 2 and the second power is x power 1 and the last is the constant number but here you can see it's not the arranged form first we have to arrange this equation then now this is arranged form writing 6x square minus 6 7x and minus 3 students maybe there's a question in, in your mind those who are not too much good in maths and their algebra is not quite better they feel that why don't I change the sign you know that this is the one side like this is the left side and on the right side there is no number there is a zero number then you are just going to change the value in in one side we are not going to take or we are not going to shifting the values from the other side but they already in a one place or in the left hand we are just going to replace actually and changing the place not taking not shifting actually from the other side that's why we are not going to change the sign signs are changed just like here now there is a very good example because you can see here you can compare the two questions here when we are taking 3x to the other side there is the positive sign and we are when you bring to the other side this will be negative but see in this question uh, there is no question that is the right side the, all the things are present in the in the right hand already sorry at the left hand now after arranging you know you have to compare with this equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 you will get the values that is a is 6 b is minus 7 and c is minus 3 now as you know that using the formula this is the formula 
now putting the values minus will be as it is b is minus 7 plus and minus b square minus 7 square minus 4 a a is your 6 and c is your minus 3 and in the denominator this is 2 and a is 6 now minus minus plus plus minus 7 square that is 49 minus minus plus for 6 is 24 and 24 threes are 72 and 2 6 are 12 now this is 7 plus minus minus when you add you will get 1 2 1 divided by 12 now dear students will you please tell me one thing and just guess one thing is 121 is a perfect square or not a perfect square uh, uh, I think so you know that yeah this is a perfect square and what is the number that is 11 now this one and 11 after 12 is as it is now there are two portion of the question the one is positive and the other is negative now you can see this is the positive value first you have to add them after that you have to divide them you can see two nines are 18 two six are 12 for the more cancellation you will get two threes are nine two twos are six dear students at the level you are actually there is no need to do things like that there are some calculators available in the market that you can do directly and the calculators will give you the final answer because why I am doing so because there are some students they don't know even the cancellation that's why I'm going to do the whole process for you this is 3 by 2 now we are going to solve for the minus 1 that is now sorry for the positive value that is s uh, 7 plus 14 now this will be here and 4 1s are 4 4 3s are 12 with the negative sign and you will get the value x is equal to minus 1 by 3 so here is the solution set that is 3 by 2 comma minus 1 by 2 don't forget to write this comma you have to write this comma while you're separating the two answers actually two solutions or two answers moving towards the next part this is 3x square plus 8x plus 2 is equal to 0 dear students this is 100% a proper quadratic equation no more arranging and no more arrangement in this question so directly you are going to compare with this equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 now your a is 3 your b is 8 and your c is 2 a very good thing in this question is that the all values are positive you are no more like you there is no need to worry about the negative sign somehow the students get irritated or they feel difficult to solve the negative sign after writing the formula now putting the values one by one now this is 8 square that is 64 4 threes are 12 and 12 twos are 24 divided by 6 this is 40 after subtraction now now you can see 40 is not a perfect square but actually and also not a prime number if it is not a perfect square fine but this is also a, not a prime number it means when there is a prime number of course we have to take a stop in the question and that is the final answer because we can't find the factors of a prime number but now luckily we can find the factors of this number because 40 is a composite number now you can see 2 2's are 4 0 2 1's are 2 0 2 5's are 10 and 5 1's are 5 now in a very lower grades and the lower classes you have learned so far these things and how can you solve this is actually called the prime factorization and you know how to solve this if you don't know then go here now how many tools you can find here how many tools like you have to make the pairs why because this is the square root if this is a cube root then we have to make the cubes but right now this is a square root so we have to make the pairs only now 2 power now the left number that don't have the pair you simply have to multiply that 2 5s are 10 now uh, in 9th class you already have read the properties of radical sign that you can separate the radical sign radical under the number when the operation is multiplication now the operation is multiplication so we can write in this way no need to even put the multiplication sign you can directly do like this after that you can see that 2 would cancel the square root 2 is cancelled with this number and you will get only 2 10 is as it is dear students normally what happen in these questions the one mistake that students are doing they cut directly like you there is no need to cut 6 with 8 directly as you know that they can cancel but first you have to take common what is the common number that is 2 
to 4s are 8 plus minus 2 1s are 2 no need to write 1 here you can see there's a 1 like 2 4s are 8 2 1s are 2 no need to write no need to mention the 1 here now now the cancellation is possible and this step you have to cancel not at this step otherwise your question will be considered to be the wrong you will not get the answer if you are doing this way now 2 1s are 2 2 3s are 6 then so this is your final answer because furthermore you can't solve 10 uh, because the 10 is not a perfect square although this is not a prime number but with that this is also not a perfect square so you have to leave it as it is and this is your solution set okay now no need to put the bracket sign because uh, okay if you want to maybe you have heard somewhere uh, some teacher told you and taught you the way like you have to write the comma once you have to write with a positive sign once with a negative sign but this is also okay you can also write this way okay dear students uh, these are the uh, three more question in the next video I'm going to show you some other question of the exercise that are a bit difficult also in the next video you will see that those difficult question till then take care and bye bye